I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times. We're taking a look at Mac OS X Lion here. And at $30 from the Mac App Store, I gotta say, it's pretty much worth the money. It has a lot of great new features from a usability standpoint, but that being said, there are a couple things that you should do before you make the leap to Lion. First off, you should definitely back up or clone your hard drive. A big reason for this is because Mac OS X Lion doesn't have support for apps originally created for PowerPC Macs. So if you're on Adobe CS2 or if you're running a, you know, an older version of Microsoft Office, it will simply not work. So for those who just got Lion installed, one of the first things that you may notice is a new feature called Launchpad. And it looks just like an iPad, basically. You have your app icons laid out in a very iPad-like way. You can swipe between the different views and you can even create cool little folders that are very much exactly like what you get on an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod Touch. It's uh, really just kind of a cosmetic feature. So another one of the more prominent features in Lion is Mission Control, which for Mac users actually combines spaces and expose from older versions of OS X. Basically what you have here is you have expose which splits out the different programs you're running across your desktop so that you can see all the different apps that you have running at the same time. And then you have your spaces up here, so your different desktops. On gesture-based Macs, you can just swipe with your fingers across the trackpad to switch spaces. On this older Mac, which doesn't have gesture-based controls, um, there are keyboard shortcuts to allow you to switch between the spaces. There's also a ton of features in Lion that are just kind of usability tweaks, kind of common sense additions. Um, one such addition is being able to take any corner of a window and being able to resize that window. Another nice little usability feature is full screen apps. And Apple's really leading the way here. You're going to see full screen apps on iCal, Mail, Safari. You're not yet going to see it work quite as you'd like on Chrome. And it isn't even an option for a lot of Adobe programs. But it's kind of nice when you just want to focus on one specific app, not have the distraction of other windows or little pop ups saying, hey, you have new messages in your inbox or things like that. So, another feature that people may or may not like, and from what a lot of people have been telling me they kind of hate is inverted scrolling and that is basically getting you to use your trackpad just like you use an iPad or an iPhone. So you push the content on a page or in an app the direction that you're pushing your fingers. Uh, it was actually really awkward to use at first. After a couple days I've gotten used to it and I kind of like it but I know a lot of people who just absolutely could not deal with it and they switched back in system preferences to get rid of that. Another uh, couple features that Lion adds that you're not going to get in older Macs like mine here are AirDrop and gesture controls. Here's another example of some iPad, iPhone-like features making their way into Lion. Gesture controls, you got the pinch and zoom just like you would from your touch screen. And there are lots of other gesture controls that uh, are specific to Lion, such as three or four fingers up, taking you into mission control. Really easy, really handy, and kind of nice if you want to take the time to learn them. So another feature you're going to get in newer Macs but not in older models is AirDrop. And what that allows you to do is transfer files wirelessly to Macs that are nearby. So that's a quick overview of Lion. There are more than 250 new features, so we're still digging into it. And if we find some more cool stuff, we'll let you guys know on the technology blog. But if you have an older Mac or a newer Mac, as long as you have 2GB of RAM and an Intel processor, you should be good to go.